Hey everyone, welcome back to the Best Coin News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. In today's numismatic news and information for the sixth day of February 2024, I'm going to welcome you over to MoneyMetals.com to check out the live spot prices as well as the availability and the premium for the 24 American Silver Eagle. After that, we'll check out the American Eagle sales at the United States Mint. Then we're going to check out on, well, we're going to check up on King Charles and his uh, unfortunate health issues right now and the fact that um, he could have a really short reign as the monarch of the United Kingdom and what that means for the coinage. But before all that, don't forget, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. That's right, so we can open up the Son of a Silver Stacker store and sell the Son of a Silver Stacker merchandise. Can't wait for that. That'll be so awesome. Now over here to moneymetals.com. Gold's up a dollar twenty now to twenty thirty six ten. Silver down seven pennies to twenty two forty seven. Platinum down sixteen forty five to nine oh six eighty five. And palladium down eleven forty five to nine seventy five eighty. If you're looking at an in stock American Silver Eagle, whose premium is six ninety nine, you can get out of there for twenty nine forty six each with that quantity right there, one through thirty nine. And then they're going to buy them back. Look at that. Took a hit. We've seen pretty much 24 for like the last two months or so. Now we're looking at 23.85. Now isn't that something? Don't want them at that price, right? Look here we go with the bullion sales at the United States Mint, and yep, look at there you go. No new tail to tell whatsoever. Still at the same point we were yesterday. Now over here to the Google machine, we're going to look up King Charles III. Isn't that interesting how eyes are used as a three? I always wonder what's up with that. Anyway, here we go. King Charles, this is 16 hours ago from NBC News, diagnosed with cancer. And they said they caught it early. All right, so he's probably going to be doing okay. But it's postponing public duties. And, you know, when you're 75, 76, 78 years old, I think 75 years old, um, yeah, you just pretty much don't want to be doing royal duties at that point, do you? Um, you're going to be doing other duties uh, sooner than later, regrettably. Um, you know, so that's what's going on there in the United Kingdom. And what does that mean for their coinage? Well, that's a really great question. Uh, let's go here back to Money Metals. Um, and I hope this actually works. Um, yep, it's really slow this morning. British Britannia, King Charles III. This is the first Britannia he was on right there. And you can see the date on this one right there, 2023. And look, he's got no crown, right? So that was before the coronation. Uh, we'll go here to JM Bullion and look at this one. This is a 2022 one ounce British Silver Britannia coin. And look at this, currently out of stock. And they are not cheap, actually, believe it or not. And that is with the uh, Queen Elizabeth II. And that is from 2022, right there, you can see. So, what's up with that? Well, I'm going to show you here something. This is really interesting. So, we're at the Royal Mint Museum at royalmint.com. And it says, Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on coins. Now, she had a tremendous. 70-year reign as Queen of England, right? Bam! And she had those coins from like 1953 to 2022. And with that said, how many years does King Charles III have? Well, you have, what, the end of 2022, 2023, the full year, and here we go, 2024, and possibly some in 2025. Maybe not. We don't know. But that's the long and short of it right there. So this could be one of the shortest reigns uh, for King in quite some time. And on their money as well, on those circulating coins. So that's the first coin featuring Queen Elizabeth has a laurel wreath. Um, then it's replaced with the tiara there. And then we're looking at the royal diadem and so on and so forth. And this is pretty interesting, actually. It says here, did you know at the bottom, Queen Elizabeth II faced right on her coins as part of a tradition which has lasted for over 300 years, each king or queen faces in the opposite direction to the one before them, right? Her Majesty's father, George the uh, Sixth, right, 5-6, faced the left on his coins, so Elizabeth II had to face the right. And we actually have that consistently going on because this is the 2022 Harry Potter and 2023 uh, Harry Potter coin collection. Well, I think it's all from 2022, actually. Um, and this is, well, basically a series of coins with Harry Potter, but actually she passed away during the middle of this set. So two coins of this set feature 2022 and Queen Elizabeth II. The other two, the following two, the last two, which I think is Dumbledore and then Hogwarts, are both King Charles III before the coronation. And that's what the coins look like on the uh, reverse right there. So you got Harry and the Hogwarts Express as Queen Elizabeth II, and then Albus Dumbledore uh, and Hogwarts being King Charles the, you know, without the, with the, with the, without the crown, right? So 
yeah, a lot of stuff, interesting things going on right now. And if you're wondering which coins to collect, well, I'm over here at the Royal Mints, and I was just looking under the King Charles III coins, the ones that were available, and the ones that were actually out of stock as well. And I have it listed oldest to newest, and there wasn't any, none, zero, of the 2022 coins. Okay, so those had already been snatched up, so to speak. But I was thinking outside the box, so I went to over here to eBay, and I found this. This is actually the first coin featuring King Charles. And actually, believe it or not, this 541 sold. He sold almost 20 in the last, uh, what, 24 hours or so. Yeah, if you just go a little bit further into this. So they're, they're selling these pretty rapidly here. Not sure how many they have left. But that's the coin. You can see it there. There's two uh, diamond shapes right there. One with the young queen and an old queen. And then King Charles without the hat there, without the crown. Sorry, didn't mean to be disrespectful. A hat. <laughs> you wear it on your head, right? So... Look at these, 2022, that's it, 2023, King Charles, first uncrowned and first crowned effigy NGC Proof 70s. So yeah, some of these are uh, really interesting, 525, 145, that's not the same coin. Um, that's the same, but that's the proof version of it, right? So that's a silver proof. So they're out there. I don't know if they're selling. You know what, let me check if they are selling. I'll just go here to the sold and completed real quick, like, and to see if things have happened since, oops, I forgot to hit sold. Boy, that's just slacker. Should have done the sold first. It clicks both of them, right? There we go. I don't even think it'll make a move, will it? Anyway, um, let me go. Ended recently, February 5. Yeah, there you go. King Charles Commemoratives coins. Look at that. That's the one I was talking about that we just said we're um, selling. I like hotcakes. Yeah, 1995 with six bucks shipping. That's interesting. So what I did, I went back to the Royal Mint, and I was like, okay, well, let me look under Elizabeth II coins instead of King Charles III coins. So I did find this. That's not the one I want to talk about. Here we go. I think this is it. I think my internet's really slow this morning. Here we go. We're under Home Shop Monarch Elizabeth II. So what I did, I went to Shop Monarchs and Elizabeth II, and that's how I got here. All right. So I went here, Mother's uh, Milestone right there. And I went, you know, let me keep on looking. And I came across this bad boy right here. This is the one. This, I think, because it has the same coin as the one on eBay. However, it comes with... Um, it's a two coin set and it is, and it does tell you how many pounds it is, but it also tells you how many dollars it'll be, uh, with the, look at that. And they have the current, um, I guess exchange rate. It's a dollar twenty five five nine eight two, and they, they are exact. And you can buy one product from the Royal Mint for one day and buy it another day. And it'd be a completely different price. Yes, indeed. That's the way it works dealing when, uh, when you're dealing with out of, uh, out of country, uh, transactions. Right, you're gonna have to pay in and have that exchange rate happen. So this is the one that they're selling on eBay, as you can see. Let me go ahead and I guess I'll click the back. Here we go. There's the back. You can see the diamond patterns with the two, the queens, the two portraits right there, and it's probably a better picture there. And then there's the Fuller and Thomas reverse diamond design of the other coin, and that's right here. That's the um, isn't that cool? I actually have that coin right there. It's really cool. I got a couple of those. Um, now, like I said, this is the one that's selling. Uh, the other one is a bit more obviously, but, I, you know, hey, look, this isn't a bad deal, actually. And um, that makes it just begs the question, which King Charles coin is going to be the most important one to have? Well, that's his first coin right there. It says so in the title, first UK coin, because it is part of the memorial coin. That was the first one they did to make that transition, 1926 to 2022. And there we are. Bam, King Charles uncrowned. Now, with that said, let's go to the plus ones. A lot of life and death talk. Whoa, yeah, I guess so. A lot of life and death talk. Well, it says here, I don't need that. Thank you very much. Appreciate your uh, offer. It says here, life and death. We rejoice over a birth and mourn over a death. But we should not. For when a man is born, who knows what he will do or how it will end. But when a man dies, we may rejoice if he left a good name and this world is in peace. And that's adapted from the Midrash. Tahuma, Tanhuma on Exodus. Isn't that interesting? So that's that's kind of profound. And, and we don't really think about life that way, do we? About how a person left the world or, you know, we and, and how we celebrate a birth, right? So and with a birth, it's like an X, an unknown variable. You don't know what you're going to get. But at the end of somebody's life, you already know what you got. Isn't that something? Now that brings us to 99.9 KOIN Coin News Radio. Here it is. This song is called Welcome to Dying. 
It's uh, by the band Onslaught, and it's probably one of the best songs. It's 12 minutes and 37 seconds, too, so it's kind of lengthy. It's not really radio-friendly, but it is K-O-I-N, Koi News Radio uh, friendly, which is amazing. So this is an English band. Uh, I interviewed them when I was in college. They're really great. They're really amazing. The guitar is epic. If you like Metallica, uh, if you've never heard of this band, um, and I'm talking Metallica like... Master Puppets Metallica or Ant Justice uh, for All Metallica. That's this kind of a sound if you're looking for some kind of like, what does it sound like? Well, check it out. You might dig it. You might find a new favorite song, a new favorite band, you know, at least for a while. You know, add it to your repertoire. Anyway, there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, well, sub the channel. It is free. And if you want to please take it to the next level. And we're going to talk about that membership again. It's $1.99 a month. That's right. It's the price of a cup of coffee or one burrito on Taco Tuesday. Stack her out.